Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 27th, 2021 from Luke chapter 17, Thankfulness. Previously, Jesus was teaching us to do our duty, that while we are servants, while Jesus is the master, that we shouldn't be concerned for our own glory. Now comes an opportunity for Jesus to teach us about thankfulness. From Luke chapter 17, verse 11, on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance and lifting up their voices saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. These 10 lepers were separated from the society because of their condition. If we thought the social distancing and the masks of COVID-19 were bad, these 10 had to spend their entire lives separated from people like this, and even worse. Let's continue on with verse 14. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Notice Jesus doesn't draw any special attention to himself. He told them to go and show themselves to the priest. Only the priest could declare them clean and then they could rejoin society, so to speak. And they obeyed and went. But on the way, they became clean. So what would they do? Let's continue with verse 15. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now, he was a Samaritan. I can almost imagine the following discussion taking place amongst the lepers once they saw that they were clean. The one saying, let's return to Jesus and say thanks. While the other saying, no, Jesus told us to go to the priests and that's what we should do. We can always give thanks a little bit later, right? I'm also sure that maybe some of them might have thought that, oh, by the way, did Jesus really do anything? Didn't we just get cleaned on the way? He just told us to go and show ourselves to the priest. So was Jesus really behind any of this? But how often do we fail to remember and say thanks to God? How often have we been healed from a sickness and do we always say thank you? Or do we chalk it up to our body just sort of healing ourselves or the medicine or, or the doctors? Notice the response of Jesus, verse 17. Then Jesus answered, were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. God gives good gifts to all people. For all people are his creation and he loves them. But do all people return to Jesus and give thanks for the gifts they have received? Sure, we do get distracted by the things of this world, and we may forget to say thank you, Jesus. But notice what Jesus does. He reaffirms the man's faith. He says, your faith has made you well. If you were a leper separated from friends and family, and Jesus ordered you to choose between restoration with friends and family because of a physical healing or restoration with God because of a spiritual healing, which one of the two would you choose? This leper chose to return and say thanks to Jesus for his gift of healing. And Jesus then publicly states that he is a believer, that his faith saved him and he also was healed yes god is a good gift giver god's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening and please take an opportunity to share this message with others
If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.